and L. fun. Like, are you all having a good time, but also learning a little something, something yes. at the same time? Put a one. Yes, let me see y'all do a little dance in the gallery. Hey, hey. Like, let me hey. see y'all, like, meet us where we at right now. Meet us where we at. Come dance right, with Come dance with I What are you doing? <laughs> Keep telling Give that my, booty, my mind yeah. don't do that. Somebody bust a wire. You know, try that by the end of the night. You I know. I will give. That. I will give you a good <laughs> Megan tongue out though. Y'all, y'all, please dance to me. I can, I can see y'all. Who dancing? Hey, okay, no. Ryan. Hey, and hey, I know you. Hey, That's right. Hey, yeah. hey, 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 go. <laughs> hey, 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 Y'all so crazy, y'all like foolishness. I gotta get the little acrobat. Y'all like foolishness. Hey. All right. Yes, we need some acrobat. Yes, please. Please. Yes, please. 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 All right, you guys, so this pandemic has certainly forced all of us, oh, nope, that is the wrong thing, so you are right. <laughs> so all of our lives have been impacted, y'all, some strengths, I'm sorry. It's a lot. <laughs> so all of our lives have been impacted by the pandemic, whether you're in finance, the beauty industry, construction, a creative, a teacher, we have all felt this blow. But if your business is in travel, then you probably felt it a little bit harder. Yeah. My next guest knows exactly what I am talking about. So Danny Rivers Mitchell, my girl, is the founder of Black Girls Travel 2 and C C founder and CEO of Black Girls Travel 2, a premier boutique travel company. Yes. And she is the epitome of pivot in the pandemic. Come yeah, on now. I first Come met through. Danny back in 2018 when I thought, y'all, it was a mistake or maybe even a dream when I got the email that the founder of Black Girl Travel 2, a page yes. I've been stalking for years, yes. was inviting me Ooh, to the yeah. first ever all black, all female Hello. travel influencer trip to Barbados. Mm. That's powerful. That's yes, powerful. That's I was so powerful. excited. So from the minute Danny and I hopped on the phone on our first call, to meeting her at our Airbnb in New York City, to our time in Barbados, and even to today. She also sent some little gifts to my baby recently. Thank Aww, you so much. So Danny has been so warm, so friendly, and so damn cool. Y'all see that purple hair? I like, yes. Like, she is fire all around. Danny. She has such a huge heart. Well, and I'm here such... for the eyewear. Yes. yes. <laughs> Danny, yes. welcome to the Bahamas, and welcome to the party, baby. <laughs> First and foremost, can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. Good, good, good. Listen, the energy is banana. <laughs> hey! I felt it. I was, I was vibing the entire time. I am so honored to be here. This is absolutely amazing. The production is on, uh, on point. Yes. Uh, all of you look so amazing as well. I want to be on set with you guys. Next really time. Wanna... Next time. I promise I'll out. bring you. <laughs> and then Melody on the ones and twos. Okay. With the twos. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and here's the thing, Ianthea. You know, it was no mistake at all. Mm. You said that you were stalking Black Girls Travel too. I was stalking you. Ooh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> No, I totally, I totally love it because um, black girls really do travel. No, yeah, really we do. do. Can really we hear her? Fly. Put me on a plane right now. <laughs> I need to go. <laughs> Daddy, yeah. So I, you were stalking me and I was stalking you. So we were just stalking each other. <laughs> like we were just like stalkers. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Here's the thing. Uh, there's no denying good content. Whether you have 100 uh, yep. followers mm -hmm. and five likes or you have a million followers. Yeah. And, and thousands of likes your content was unparalleled and your storytelling yeah, yeah, ability was just so attractive. I, I could not bypass you. Thank you so much. So in my intro, I spoke a little bit, and this has been like the key word of this pandemic, pivot, right? Mm -hmm. And you and I had a conversation like earlier on when this pandemic hit, I think this is like right after I had the baby, you called me and we were talking about traveling and how you're like, oh my God, I want to go to Barbados so bad. I want to travel. I had all these trips planned out. How were you able to keep your business afloat and keep your business running and just keep your life going when your main industry was completely shut down? Absolutely. So I know that this is a safe space here. Of course. And I'm <laughs> fully transparent. So um, at the top of the year, I was actually in South Africa. So we had sold out two back-to-back -back experiences and I was in South Africa in January as well as February. And we got a hint of the pandemic, you know, in China. 
And and I wasn't really paying attention to it because it wasn't affecting us, to be honest. And when it was time for me to leave, it was be- it was really turning real. It was becoming realer and realer. And so one of the things that I, I understood from taking a flight from South Africa to Doha, everyone was like, you need to wear a mask. You need to wear a mask because you have all kinds of people that are getting on the flights with you and there were no masks at all to be found in this amazing, beautiful um, airport. Uh, they had ran, down, ran out. As soon as I touched down back home in February, and this was the second week of February, I had booked a flight to Denver. And by that time, I started hearing that there were some people infected with COVID in the the States. And I just prayed to God and I was like, listen, I'm going to Denver because I wanted to go and see uh, Oprah Winfrey. That has been something on my bucket list. Mm. And I trigger. I was there in Denver for less than 24 hours. Literally, I had a backpack. I went to Denver in an auditorium with over 15,000 people. And and by the grace of God, I did not anything i was able to get in and get get out Mm -hmm. touch back down in dallas fort worth and then i really started to think um like really how was this going to impact the travel industry but also black girls travel too and to be honest with you i was i wasn't really thinking that it was going to really affect us that much then when we when we went into lockdown um a gentle lockdown let me say that because i live in texas um I really started thinking like, is this really going to affect the travel industry? Mm-hmm. And the more and more I was educating myself on the different destinations in which we offer services in, it became realer and realer. And so what I did, I said, you know what? I'm not going to fret. I'm not going to freak out. What I'm going to do is take this opportunity to rest. Mm-hmm. Because- I love it. I've been going hard ever since. We are approaching six years of business. And I say, you know what? This is God yeah, forcing so, mm, to slow mm, down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. down. Because as as women, and, and, and I like to speak for, for all women, we wear so many hats and we are of the world, mm-hmm. literally. Yep. So I had uh, identified that it was time to sit down. So of course I sat down three months and then after the third month, I'm like, now, wait a minute. Okay. Right, <laughs> Hold on now. I need to stand up. Long. <laughs> yeah, I need to stand up. I, I, I done sitting. <laughs> I had yeah. customers start to say, okay, you know, are we not going to go to India? And so I remember watching CNN and there was a, a, a major break in the news that says India has suspended all visas. And this was wow. like a month before uh, April, which is when our uh, experience was supposed mm. to happen. We were supposed to go to India for almost two weeks. Wow. Now imagine 17 people Ooh. slated it to go to India. You paid everything. This is wow. over a hundred thousand dollars US that has been paid for the experience. Yikes. Whoa. That not can go on. Wow. And that that's, that's a, a blow. That's a, well, that's a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. And not only that. Speaking with the vendors and they're telling you we've already paid all of the vendors, we've already paid all of the vendors to hold the hotels that we would stay mm-hmm. in, the transportation companies, mm-hmm. we can't get the money back. Wow. The only thing you can do is postpone. Wow. Listen, now, the worst thing I hate to hear is about traveling or fly, my flight delayed mm. has to be like that, those are words I don't want to hear. So I can only imagine what y'all went through. Listen, listen. <laughs> but here no, I still did not fret because I understood how we started Black Girls Travel to mm-hmm, off. Mm-hmm. It's all about community. It's all about amazing customer service, and it's all about full transparency. Yes. Yeah. When that information was downloaded to um, my team and I, I started composing emails and setting up one-on-one conversations with each traveler to inform them of what was happening and what it looked like moving forward. I, I would say everyone was okay. They were a little bit confused, but everyone was okay. And I also assisted them in getting refunds for their for their flights and or credits. Because just imagine when all of this stuff actually hit and you have travel insurance, mm-hmm. but the you know, hundreds of thousands of people all at the same time filing for travel insurance, you're gonna put the people in, in bankruptcy. Yeah. So they start buying claims. And so I was able to react rather quickly and early on 
And so we've always been in uh, constant communication with our experiences uh, for India as well as um, Barbados for crop over. So I decided at that point, I said, listen, I am an authority in this space. I am responsible for Lottie Dottie, everybody that travel with us. Mm -hmm. It's not about money. It's not about the popularity, but it's the, it's the safety for every single soul that invests in a black girl's travel to, to experience. I pulled the trigger on all remaining experiences for 2020 mm. because I mean that it's not safe to travel whatsoever. Yeah. Then we started receiving emails. Okay, well, uh, when do you believe it's going to be safe to travel? And I told them, and I went public on, um, on Instagram uh, live and I said, listen, we will not offer an experience until I myself, as an authority in this space, as well as the founder of Black Girls Travel 2, until I go out there, I have to experience it. I have to put myself in harm's way to ensure that you all will be okay once we launch an experience. And so I don't wanna jump the gun because I'm sure you have many more questions to ask, but it took seven months, a total of seven months for me to watch these destinations in which we offer services to. The only destination that I deem safe to travel to at this current time is Barbados, where I'm currently am. Hey, uh, hey. Hint, hey. listen, <laughs> Danny, I told her when we were, that like, she's honorary Caribbean because she may as well just go live in Barbados because she's like <laughs> always there. So Danny, I just wanted to ask you, so you used your time during this pandemic when Everything was shut down when your life changed to rest. And I think the word pivot has been like mounted on us so heavily that it was like forcing us to be like, okay, since you can't do this, we'll do something. Since you can't do that, we'll do something. Since you can't do We should have just been resting then, some of us. Yes. We should have just not been looking, I guess, to start a new company or start a new project or start a new thing just to keep busy. And talk to me about the, talk to me about the importance of your pivot being your rest. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> Because you look well rested. Yes. <laughs> Talk about a better quality of life. Wow. I'm most definitely not a, not a shame of my age. I want I, I want to be very transparent. Also with that, I just turned 44 years of. of That's a of lie. Age. You a lie. <laughs> wow. You are a lie now. <laughs> I need you to tell the people the truth. The secret. Tell us the, the secret. secrets. <laughs> like, what do we need to know? Because I know they say black no oh, sack, but yeah, come on. Danny look good. You look good. <laughs> Tell you the secret. The secret is being who you are and who you are and identifying. A word. I love come that. Come on now. A word. Yes. <laughs> So I am extremely clear on who I am and whose I am and how I am navigating this entire world. And I'm extremely unapologetic about that. Yes. Um, being here in Barbados uh, means the world to me right now. Um, as I said earlier, I deem Barbados is one of the safest places to, uh, to be at this current time, especially right. during COVID, especially for those who are just really aching in, to travel. Yeah. Um, Barbados has had a total of seven deaths since this uh, pandemic started. Wow. Seven? A total of seven. Yeah. Yes. They've done it right. Here's, here's the thing. This country is being ran for the first time by Come on. On. Yes, Come on. Neil Lally, she is Let's killing it. it. Let's Why? talk about it. Yes, That's she what is it is. killing it. She is definitely killing it. I'm so her. happy. I love she. I love Auntie <laughs> Me. I love she. I yes, do. I love her. So, Danny, I'm so happy that you talked a little bit about, you know, Barbados being the safest place right now for you to travel. So beyond this, and hopefully, you know, everybody's thinking that when the clock strikes midnight on December 31st, that, oh they my God, the pandemic no yeah. immediately we goes away. Happy, can't say happy new year, you guys. Right? Say Jumanji, we are stuck. <laughs> and we're right back to square we are, we are, one. We are stuck. Say what, Jumanji. What, is the, what is the future looking like for you right now and your company? Great question. I will tell you, if you would have asked me this during my resting period, I probably would not have an answer for you. But let me tell you something. As soon as I touched down on this island, I had to go through five days of quarantining because I arrived with uh, a PCR COVID test, which which you are expected to do. But I was one day off, oh. so they tested me here for it. And honey, when I tell you, when they test you here, honey, they go through the nose and yes. you put it in your throat. Oh, <laughs> like, oh Lord, it's true. I told the girl, I was I like, put on your test. <laughs> 
one day. I, I want to deal with you. And it, it was really, really a funny conversation. But I, I took the test in the airport. Um, it was negative. Then they sent me to a hotel while I was able to quarantine. And one of the uh, most amazing things about the hotel in which I stayed in is that I was able to come out of my room and, and get a little sun. Yeah. And um, in a quarantining um, um, restaurant, if you will. It was just for individuals who was there to quarantine. And right. then I also took my second test, because you have to take a second test here in Barbados. Um, I took it four or five days later, and it came up negative, and then I was released into the population. <laughs> released into released. the population. Yeah. <laughs> I, Anthea, I started thinking because we do have experiences being offered as early as, as the third and fourth um, uh, quarter of 2021. Nice. I started thinking if these uh, quarantine uh, restrictions are still in place, exactly. what does it look like for someone that may come to Barbados for crop over, right? And, and end up having to quarantine for five days. And miss the whole event. <laughs> all of the <laughs> Exactly. I'm like, you know what? That can't work. Right then and there, my creative juices poured in. And therefore, I came up with offering a journey to expat Barbados, Ooh. where we are offering an extended experience for three to six months. Wow. Oh, that is awesome. Okay. Yeah. You went in. Yeah. <laughs> that. Okay. Now, I, you all may be aware that Barbados has a 12 month welcome stand. Mm -hmm. Yes, they there do that are able to work from home due to COVID right now. Mm -hmm. But maybe that 12 month um, offering is, is a little bit intimidating and or they may not be able to do that that long, but they can do three months. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is we're offering a three to six month experience where we provide accommodations. Yeah. We also provide two um, excursions a month. Uh, also housekeeping and oh, yeah. all the but the raves uh, of, of an amazing experience is just longer. Mm -hmm. So you can enjoy and immerse yourself into the uh, Beijing culture here. So I'm so excited um, about this uh, pro about this product. And it's going to be extremely intimate. Uh, we're not talking about hundreds of people coming, mm -hmm, but right. coming with extremely intimate, like our experiences mm -hmm. um, that we have with Black Girls Travel too. So anywhere from 12 to 15 individuals at a time. Nice. So where can my guests find information on this yeah, little Barbados that, that shindig? Like, because they may want to join. Hello. Because <laughs> Barbados is beautiful, okay? I'm so it thankful is. to yeah. Danny for taking me there for the first time ever. Like, I felt like I was at home. Like, mm -hmm. everything just looked the same. The yeah. beaches, the people were so nice. Yeah. Like, it was amazing. So if anyone wants to sign up, Danny, where can they find information on this? So what's so funny is that here's the thing. You guys are hearing it first. What? Oh, <laughs> we got the scoop, y'all. We, we got the scoop. scoop. <laughs> Set to have a webinar on this Sunday uh, evening, and uh, no one knows about this. Okay, but you come on, Scoop. It's, it's head over to our website, Black Girls Travel Two. That's too.com, and hop on our uh, mailing list, and we would send information to you uh, via that. Awesome, Danny. Like that is the perfect pivot. You have perfectly, you have found the perfect way to kind of yes. make your business still work for you in these unsure times. So let me just check our um, chat room here and see what's going on. Somebody says, Danny looks amazing. Yes. Girl, you look good. Yes. So you are life, you will look good. So you lie about your age. <laughs> if you have any questions for Danny, you guys, feel free to use the raise hand emoji feature on the Zoom call. And so we can just open up your minds and get you asking questions. Tap you, Ravana. How do y'all feel about her pivot? Like she still stayed in her lane, but she made it work for her. Listen, and I am, um, <laughs> She is the pivot queen because I'm not a pivoter. <laughs> I'm one of those people, like, if I have this planned, this is how I expect it to go. Yeah. Are you a Capricorn? No, I'm an Aries. Oh, <laughs> no, but like, I legit, I, like, I'm not a good pivoter. And so to watch other black women do it so effortlessly, so, yeah. uh, you know, and to execute so well, it's inspirational because that's what I aspire to do for myself. Because this pandemic, child. Yeah, this then snatch all this has done a lot, yeah, and I don't, you know, I, I tell people all the time, like I, I really am not the kind of person who adjusts, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. I, it, I need to sit down and I need to think about Formulate, things, yeah. and yeah, and like to, to sort of plan out exactly what I want. And so to hear Danny talk about how she took that moment of rest, yes, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, because 
we don't be doing that. And I, I always feel pressure to be doing something, mm -hmm. you know? So the fact that she took that time of rest and in that time of rest, come on now, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Is where you find your inspiration, mm -hmm. hallelujah, yes. Jesus. Yes. And I, you know, that's inspirational. I'm here for that. Yeah. Tap, what do you think? I think the thing that stood out the most, um, hearing Danny speak, and this connects to what you talked about earlier, imposter syndrome. Oh, about mm. four to five times, Danny said, I am an authority in yes, this space. Yes, I mm. love that. And for some reason, Ooh. that just, to, to hear a black woman speak that constantly, I, yes, a lot of times we shrink ourselves and people perceive it as arrogance or you think you're better than people. Ooh. But knowing who you are, I know who you are, are and I'm not it. Yeah. knowing that you're not better than anyone, you're just different. You are you. And yeah. I am an you authority, are authority in this space. Mm -hmm. I am the, is an authority in the mm -hmm. social media, mommy blogger, all that AYZ, all that space. I don't yes. space. <laughs> Having that confidence and repeating that to yourself. I think, Danny, thank you. That's going to be a mantra for yes. me. Yeah. I am an Authority. Hello. In this space. Space. I know what I'm talking about. And that's, Danny. for some reason, that stuck out. That stuck out. Yeah. To me a lot. Danny, that. you literally dropped jams and yes. snatched our edges yes. to us, honey, darling. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. Uh huh. If I could just, you know, also add, being a boss isn't easy, no and, and it's not. But but if not you, then who? Mm. I am a Ooh. wife, a full mother who have a 17-year-old and a nine-year-old. And when- Tell you lying. Lord, it's, you lying. Told them, listen to me. This is what mommy is doing. This yeah. is how she, and this is why I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. When I tell you these kids of mine that I, I've been given to, to look after and raise, mm -hmm. they literally said, mommy, we believe in you. Mm. Don't worry, we'll be down the court. Mm. You got it. Mm. Now the problem, husband the husband is like i miss you I <laughs> <laughs> oh he's the one who don't get it <laughs> but i could i could kind of relate to what you're saying because this week was so hard and trying to like put the last minute touches together for this event and you know my child was born in a pandemic and so right. we were home with her like 24 7. yeah this week i shipped her on monday <laughs> I shipped her out Tuesday. I shipped her out Wednesday. Girl, no, she shipped out today, but listen. I realized that in order to be an authority in, in this, this space, space yes. mm -hmm. I had to free myself up to do what I needed to do. And so I love how you kind of reminded us that you're still a mom, mm -hmm. yeah, hair, you're still mm -hmm. a wife, hair, but sometimes you gotta kind of put them in their little box, right. boss it up, and then get back. And so I kind of learned a big lesson with that this week. And so Danny, girl, you know me, and you always could talk. I could talk to Danny forever, y'all. Like, please be on these. WhatsApp calls and on our calls for so long. Danny, girl, thank you so much. Oh, I want to give you a virtual hug. I love to see you. <laughs> thank you it. so much for being here. Again, you guys, if you want to chime in on the conversation, let us know. Use the raise hand emoji or just type your stuff in the chat room. Danny, again, thank you so much. We're going to go to our second giveaway, but let me just shout out some people who just joined. We got, who just joined? Let me see who just joined. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Shanae. Hey, Rodina. Hey, Shakira. Hi, guys. I see my little sister in here. Hey, Ajari. Hey, hey Lathira. Hey, Karima. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Devon. Keithra. I got Keithra twice. <laughs> Hi, Mommy. You're still here. Thank you so much. Aww. My brother, Jonathan. Zemi. Otimia. Jamie. Thank you guys so much for yeah. being here. We are now about to give away our second prize. Ooh. Tinks. Now, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's Tinks. see. Let's see. So, our second prize tonight, you guys is our candle, well, we have three candles to give away. Mm -hmm. The first one, scented escape wait. candle. Thank you so much for Shanae. I see her in the gallery. Wait, we, we, we still in, we still in we, eligible? We are not eligible. <laughs> I'm, I'm right here. But it's <laughs> candles, though, I can look at it. Oh, like, you can but, smell that? So our <laughs> vendor, minty. Yes, our I vendor can. and partner, scented escape candle, it's gave minty. us three, like, these smell so good, y'all. Let's so. just spin this wheel to see who's going to win the first one Oh, tonight. I won this one. It's not yours <laughs> to have. It's not it's yours, ma'am. <laughs> Let's spin the wheel and see who's going to win. Hold on, wait, hold on. I hope she doesn't win her own gift. She, <laughs> nice. she ma'am. And our winner is, wow. ooh, Nabila! Nabila. Oh, yeah. oh, I love Nabila, that's a homegirl. Hey, girl. Hey, I met her last 
last night. So, Nabila. Oh, she, she wonderful. Yeah, she's we so sweet. Her. Nabila, thank you so much. I have a Yay. gift for you. Hit nice. me up to remind me because, you know, Christmas coming. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to forget to remind me. <laughs> but you have won our scented escape candle. Nice. So, you guys. Singular. So, in your gift boxes, you would have gotten some very delicious cookies. <laughs> Someone sent me a photo of the ah, crumbs too bad. and the empty package. Oh, my God. Like now, crumbs, I said to y'all to save y'all boxes, try and resist the things that First were in the box. All, but enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy what your you know, collection. I know, right? What black woman you know is not going to eat the cookie immediately? <laughs> they ate the cookies immediately. Of but, course they did. But if you had your bakehouse cookies left, feel free to enjoy them. Top up your drinks. We are going to let DJ Melody give us some tunes. And let's just soak it all in what Danny just said, you guys. We will be back in just a few seconds. Yeah. Tori, get ready, baby, because you are up next. <laughs>